sun sind wir eigentlich. Yeah, guys, I haven't picked up the phone in a while. I haven't picked up the camera and recorded, so. So, you know what? Let's record my journey back from college. I just finished college now. On the way to the train station. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you. so big all of a sudden okay energy drink cans like a red bull can this is anyway man i'm in poundland right now proper thirsty so you know what grab that indy this is from my heart backwards it Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I put hat backwards because it looks it looks better like that I think. Or I could just like when you can see my forehead and I look bald. I go like that. Yeah, I got no eyebrows and I got no hair either. Okay, yeah, so it's been a while since I picked up the camera. Yeah. But anyway, I'm back at the garage and I'm doing a video on Hang on wait. This bad boy. Check this out, check this out. Start always on the front of the car. We're gonna start here on the bonnet with the Raptor sticker. You got the word Raptor here and you got the two Velociraptor claws, like 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 Wolverine sort of thing. Yeah, like, like scratching through. Yeah, this this car is huge. It's this is the only car in the garage that's taller than me. Let me show you. I'm six foot one and this car's like six foot one and a little bit more. Right, only, only car in the garage that's taller than me. Yeah, the rest of these, yeah, midgets, yeah, tiny, Mini Cooper, Mini. Obviously, because it's a big 4x4, you're gonna have big lights on it. So that's, once again, that's my hand. I've got a very big hand. Yeah, it's one of slot people, this big hand print. <laughs> and uh, that's the light. Check that out. That is, that is one of big ass lights, that, yeah. You got the word Ford on the front grill. Gotta make it stand out. You got the other light here. These lights are really bright as well. You got the bonnet vents here as well. One on each side of the word Raptor. These are some big vents as well. So once again, that's my hand. Everything on this car is big. Yeah, because obviously it's a big four x four pickup truck, winter car. Everything's big, yeah. So we've got the vents here, we've got vents on the side as well. I can't show, I won't, be, I won't be able to show you this side. As you can see, the gap, that gap is, will I be able to, even be able to fit through there? Yeah, this is, this is me going through that gap. I can fit right, but there ain't much room to record in here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get out of here. It's too tight, too tight. I don't know if you can see, but through there, I'm gonna zoom in. You've got rock shock suspension, uh, shock absorbers. You can't even see it, hang on. Really big suspension on this car, really high suspension because you know, pickup truck, pickup trucks need high suspension. The wheel here, you can already see this is flipping huge, huge wheel. Yeah, big car, we're gonna need big wheels. On these wheels, we've got Yokohama Geolander tires. I'm gonna compare my hand to this. Uh, yeah, my hand's have been tiny compared to this wheel. Compared to the wheel, never mind the tire. Yeah. Look at the size of that. This is, this is, these are the kind of wheels that you've been you sit inside and roll that wheel. Got the 6.2 litre badge on the side here, indicating it's a 6.2 litre car. Okay, guys, I won't be able to film much of the back of the car because as you can see, the gap between the Mustang and the Raptor. Oh my days. 
that is like the perfect like I don't even know how to explain that man. I can't even get my finger through there. Uh, let's not go underneath man. Like, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, but anyway, check out the gap between the Mustang and the Raptor. Yeah. yeah, that's the best angle I can get on the back, but you got like the Mustang's bonnet in. But it don't matter. I can't I can't open this as well. Because if I open this, this is gonna smash onto the bonnet. Like you know what this reminds me of? I remember when I did the uh, the Red Nissan Navara vid and the, the, there was a challenger here, well, the Navarre, the Navarre was where this Mini was and there was a challenger where the Subaru was and I said, look, if I put the uh, the back of the Navarre down onto the challenger, it's gonna, so I'm going to play that clip now be able to get in because, as you can see, the challenger is right there and if I put this down, it's going to smash onto the challenger and I don't want that happening and now, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm saying that, yeah, this, if I open this, it's going to smash onto the, the bonnet of the Mustang it, it, that video just plays in my head. Anyway, also I won't be able to jump inside it because we've got cover on the top here. I mean, there's a little, there's a little gap if you like. I'm gonna stick my phone camera in there. <laughs> oh my day. Yeah, that's, that's the inside. That's the inside of the car right there. Yep, back of the Raptor. This is one of the main reasons why uh, I won't be able to do the start because I won't be able to get like, a good angle on the exhaust. I'm practically touching these two cars are uh, Like, it's literally the gap between them is like big. That big. But the brake lights in the back as well. The brake lights are not as big as the front lights, but they're still really big. Bigger than my hand. Remember when I did the black uh, Ford Mustang video? I said we don't like the version of the, the black Mustang, right? We don't uh, like the version of this uh, Raptor as well. Did the Euro spec lights on the back of these. We've got some fog lights at the bottom as well. These fog lights, the bits, these, these are probably like the smallest thing on the car because this car is a monster. Yeah, we've got the rock slider here as well. It's a bit dirty because people have been stepping on it and going into the car. Who knows? Let's go, let's, let's, let's check out. Interior, black leather. Let's go inside, hang on. We've got the seat controls here as well. Left, right, up, down. Oh, that 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 brings uh, this thing forward and back. So forward and back. Yeah, let's get inside. So inside of the car, very first things first. Very comfortable in the inside of this car as well. I'd love to have one of these when I'm older. Yeah, there's so many like, buttons. You got the window options. Oh, the lights have gone off. Hang on. Did the same thing with the Mustang. So to turn the lights on, you open. So we've got the dashboard here, top speed on this car, as you can see, 140 miles per hour. Uh, also the tank saying, oh, we need some, we're going to need some fuel on this. Tank's empty. We've got the radio options with screen, cup holders. This car is the auto. So we've got the gear stick here. Let's have a feel of the gear stick. Oh, nice. I love this gear stick, I think this is my favourite gear stick I've ever held Plus you've got like an armrest here So you can just put your hand on there It's cold Because like the car's been sitting here for a long time in the cold weather Let me just move my knee out of the way The car's been sitting here for a long time in the cold weather And uh, when I put my hand on it It's uh, there's, like this metal part here Metal, and when it's cold, metal gets really cold So it feels nice I think, You know it feels, it almost feels like uh, You know them aeroplane controls like you see in movies Yeah but, but it's like a, it's like a joystick like that you got like a button on there that presses fire that's what that's what it feels like so having a look at the gear stick now um the mistake with this gear stick is people think you're supposed to hold it like this yeah that's not how you're supposed to hold it with this gear stick you hold it like this the reason being is because as you can see you've got buttons on the side here when you want to pull it back into reverse or into neutral or into drive right you press this button and you pull it back you got a place to rest your arm as well when you're driving. What's inside here? You got cloth inside there as well. You know, washcloth. I've been looking for that for ages. Anyway, got the cup holders at the front, cup holders at the back. So if people in the back want to hold their drinks in here, yeah, they can. But like, I won't let them because I'm tight. Many, many buttons in this car. It's like a. This car is sick. 
looking at the steering wheel, we've got the Ford logo on the steering wheel. Steering wheel, let's have a feel of it. Hmm. Alright, I've got mixed feelings about the steering wheel. First things first, over here, when you cut it at the top, you can have like your middle finger around there, put it down, but it don't it don't feel that nice though, you know what I mean? It feels alright. Could have done better with the steering wheel. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's one of them things. Got loads of buttons here on the steering wheel. Turn the volume up and down. Answer calls. Uh, music. Forward back. We've got these options here as well. So you can set uh, you can set stuff up on the uh, dashboard and everything. We've got the controls for the lights here. So uh, oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is, afterwards, I'm going to turn these on, I'm going to show you the lights at the front again. But uh, we've got the controls for the lights here. Turn it on. All these lights at the front, turn on. These lights here, hazard lights, everything turns on. Yeah, even, even the gear stick lights turn on. All the buttons here. This one's my favourite. Off-road mode, ladies and gentlemen, off-road mode. You press that, and you're ready to go flipping, flying over hills and stuff. This is my hand compared to the steering wheel. Steering wheel is huge on this car. I think uh, this car's for like bodybuilders and stuff. You know, you see them bodybuilders on TikTok. They always got you know, most of them have uh, Ford Raptors glove compartment there. The vents, vents are cool on this. Look, we can just push that. Yeah, spin it around like that. Put that back in there. Nice. Got a little magnet here you can put your phone on as well. Does my phone stick to this? Uh, yeah, I just checked. My phone doesn't stick to this, unfortunately. So I've got glass phone. I've got, I've got iPhone, haven't I? It's not the iPhone 15. It's not like titanium or whatever. But yeah, my phone doesn't stick to this. Because I don't have that metal plate at the back. <sighs> the seats on this car, very nice. Black leather. The back, we've got black leather seats again. Unlike the other cars here, there's actually quite a lot of room in the back. In terms of leg room, yeah, there's loads of room in the back. In terms of leg room, so as you can see, this is the front seat, the, the back seat, so you can fit a reasonable amount of people in the back here. So it's a five seater car, black leather once again in the back seats of the car. I've always wanted a pickup truck, I love pickup trucks, pickup trucks are sick, you know. I won't be able to like get in the passenger side and see like the point of view of what the passenger sees because, as you can see, as I showed you earlier. The amount of room between that wall and that door, I won't be able to fit through. So, uh, yeah. Let me turn the lights off, I don't want to waste the battery. Rear view mirror, check that out. I can see the Challenger, I can see the red Challenger and a part of the blue Mustang. Red Challenger right there, a part of the blue Mustang right there. The best thing about this car is the sunroof. Sunroof needs cleaning, but it's, uh, it's a sick sunroof. You know, during the summertime, we're driving about. Just open the sunroof and chill. Close this. Make it a bit darker. No more light from the roof. Anyway, wing mirror. Once again, you can see see the cars in the back. You can see the the Challenger, the Subaru, the Mini, the Subaru behind the Subaru, the red Subaru. We've got like a little mini mirror as well here. So you got this mirror. You got a little small mirror, which is uh, around the purpose of that. But yeah, we've got two mirrors on the wing mirror. So guys, as you can see, because this is an automatic car, right? You've only got a gas and a brake. There's no clutch. Yeah. So what I'd recommend is if you didn't if you don't have a left leg, get an automatic car because then then like you, all you have to do is use this leg. Yeah, you can switch from like yo. Yo, we're speeding down, all the little kids stood in the middle of the road. Oh I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, if, if, if you like, you're handicapped, yeah, and you don't have a left leg, yeah, or like, y y even if you don't have a right leg, yeah, you can just whack your left leg there and be like, yo, boom, boom, we speeding, we speeding, oh shit, the feds, Marvel coming, Marvel, hey, yeah, oh, let's speed again, yeah, boom, 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 yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, so if you only got one leg, get a Ford Raptor, or any automatic car for that matter, boom, let's see. That look good. So, Ford Raptor. As you can see, I got my hand on. I had to put my hand on the wheel, proper prestige. Like, I'll, I'll put my hand. It's like, yo, Ford Raptor. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Ford Raptor. Big car. Yeah, very big car. Right. 
I'm sat in here now. I've got loads of space to like move my elbows about. I don't I don't have that much space like a Subaru or a Mustang or something like that. Maybe a Challenger, but nah. This this car is big on so many different levels. Yeah, with big car come big consequences. For example, heavy on fuel, heavy to run, because like uh, insurance on this is not cheap either. So you gotta ask yourself the question: Is it worth it to buy a pickup truck? Hell yeah, it's worth it to buy a pickup truck. Yeah, I'm definitely getting one of these when I'm older. Yeah, look, I've got so much room to move about because usually when I'm sat in cars, yeah, I've got my flipping, I've, I've got my knees like that. Yeah, I'm sat like that, sat like that, yeah, driving like that, you know what I mean? But now I can actually sit properly in this and put this up. Yeah, I can actually sit properly in this car. I can have my, my, my elbow out here as well. Yeah. I've seen on TikTok, yeah, a lot of these uh, big bodybuilders like uh, Joyce Wall, uh, Chris Bumstead, who else is a big bodybuilder? The Rock, The Rock, yeah, he's a big bodybuilder. He's an actor, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All these big muscular guys, you see, yeah, they've all got they've all got pickup trucks. I'm not a bodybuilder, but I'm gonna get one of these when I'm older. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the reflection of the screen bouncing off my glasses. Yeah, so Ford Raptor, very big car, very comfortable car as well. Uh, for me, anyway, because there's a lot of room in here. For a person who's even bigger, big, bigger, bigger, that's not even a word. For a person who's even bigger than me, uh, might be, might be like a bit, a bit tight, you know what I mean? I find this car very comfortable. Uh, even the back as well, you've got loads of room in the back, loads of leg room. If someone sat behind me, like this, this position that the, the seat's in now, let me adjust the seat as well, hang on. Okay, hang on. Remember that, that button that I showed you at the start, yeah? Whenever you press it, it automatically puts you in a different seating position. Like, watch this. How sick is that? When is the last time you seen that on another car? Ah, uh, cool. So, I forgot to talk about this thing right here. This controls the wing mirror. Why is it not doing it anymore? Hey, does it? See? So I have to pull it backwards. So if I pull it backwards... How sick is that? So, uh, what does that say? I'm not going to read what that says. Then we've got options to lock the car as well. I forgot to mention that. Now it's locked. Nobody can get in. I absolutely love this car. Question is, would I get it instead of a Challenger? I'm just itching my head right now because my hat has been on my head all day. Oh my goodness, look at that. As soon as I take my hat off, look what happens to my hair. Let's fuck the hat back on because nobody wants to see this monstrosity. Anyway. Yeah, Ford Raptor. New favourite car. I need to call it by its full name. Ford F-150 Raptor. Yeah, because that's what it is. Yeah, this car is amazing in many different ways. You've got a lot of room. You've got a lot of uh, a lot of options. You can, you, you can adjust the seat to your suitability. Whatever one, I'm going to adjust the seat right now. So uh, give me a moment. Yeah, that's better. That's perfect. Pe I'm going to bring this, this up probably a bit more. There, that's perfect for me. Yeah. So when I'm driving past people right now, yeah, all this is all the good. This is all you're gonna see. Yeah, check that out. That's 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 me in the Raptor. Compared to this car, I am absolutely tidy. Yeah, I'm a big guy, six foot one, and uh, this car makes me look small. Yeah. So I was just thinking, imagine if the suspension on this car was much higher, then it'd be like like a monster truck sort of thing. I mean, it already is a monster, a beast, Raptor, as you saw. On the bonnet, you had the claws coming out of the, the bonnet on the sticker. Anyway, the suspension on this car is a rock shock suspension. If you don't know what that is, it's basically it's a really big suspension company. And they do suspension for um, mainly off-roader off cars. Stuff like this, for pickup trucks, like off-roading buggies, dirt bikes. If you go on their website, um, you can see like a lot of bike suspension. They do car suspension as well. The shock absorbers, everything, everything on this car was rock shocks yeah shout out rock shocks so if the suspension on this car was a lot higher 
Um, what else could we do to this car? Modify it, make it look like a monster truck. Add some lights to the top as well, like like a, a light bar at the front at, at the top, where the uh, the sunroof is. That would be cool. Possibly add a bull bar to the front. Will that make it look cool though? I mean, yeah, it would. It would like a bull bar on a car makes it look like like a like a muzzle on a dog sort of thing. But the thing is, I don't, oh, I don't want the bull bar covering the Ford logo because the Ford logo looks nice as well. Ah, it don't matter. Yeah. I know these wheels are big, yeah, but I'm saying huge monster wheels, humongous wheels, yeah, that you can get on the, this car if you raise the suspension even more. Off-roading in this, yeah, oh man, it'll be awesome. But like, I, I, I'm not even 17 yet, I don't even have my driver's license, so how, how am I gonna go off-roading in this? I don't know. But I love I'm just sat here with my elbow out, yeah. Because it feels like I'm stuck in traffic, bro. Imagine that Mini Cooper was a person there. There's nobody even in there, bro. I don't even know why I'm nodding. Picture, but I want you to picture something now. Yeah. Dodge Challenger. Raised suspension. Big wheels. A diffuser at the back. Big front lip at the front. Uh, a supercharged blow motor on the bonnet. If you don't know what that is, if you've seen Fast and Furious, Dominic Toretto's got one on his Charger. So I was thinking, imagine you put one on the Challenger. And maybe, yeah, add a light bar on the top as well. I'm just thinking of sick modifications that I could do to car, but like, I can't even afford them. You know what I mean? A diffuser for a Challenger costs about 200, 300 quid. 200 quid cheap. Yeah, my brother got one on his black Challenger recently. Fitted that. Uh, I'm going to just itch my head because my head's very itchy. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm just thinking of random modifications that I can do to cars. So can we do anything with the back of this car? With the back, where the trunk is? I'm just trying to think now. What can we put in the back of this car that will make it look sick? Now what I'm going to do is, I want you guys, if you're watching this now, comment on my video. I'm going to post this on TikTok as well and Instagram, yeah? Comment on my new YouTube video or comment on this, this video on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Comment what, like, name any car, any car in the world, or what modifications you will do to it, right? And uh, I'll just have a read through them and see what I'll go out. Oh, I'm just trying to think, what can I put in the back of this car to make... Yeah, comment that as well. What I could put in the back of this car to make it look cool. Obviously, I said with the Challenger, put the, the blow motor on the bonnet. Like what uh, Toretto's got on his car. Uh, rear suspension, big wheels, uh, diffuser, front lip, everything. Just make it look sick. What modifications can we make to this Mini Cooper? I'm not actually going to modify it, but I'm just thinking, imagining it. What can I make? Imagine a Mini Cooper with a supercharged blow motor on it. That actually looks sick, that would. I might even look. Will it, will it though? Will it look sick? I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm looking at these cars now and thinking, how can we modify this car to make it look sick and make it drive sick? We've got another STI. I remember I've done an STI, uh, uh, STI video before. We saw that STI. This is a new one. What modification can we make to the STI? First things first, add a roll cage inside so. Uh, but when, when you're driving about and you crash, yeah, you, you're kind of protected, you know what I mean? I think, you know, with, with Subarus and stuff, Subarus are rally cars. Um, Evos, Evos, uh, Subarus, they're like rally cars. So if you want to make a modification to them, uh, get stronger stronger coils, stronger shock absorbers, um, whack a roll cage inside there, um, add a very nice spoiler on the Subaru as well. And uh, yeah, that's modifications that I can think of to make two Subaru. Let's have a look at the lights. So guys, just turn on the lights in the front of the Raptor. And I'd, I'd, be real, I'd even notice these, uh, these, these two lights on the grill and these two lights on the side here. I'm mainly focused on these two lights here. Why isn't this one on? Is that a problem with that lights? I don't know. I'll just turn the high beams on. Look how bright they are. Look at that. Driving along the dark road, yeah, in the fog or whatever. Turn these bad boys on, you can see everything. Yeah. I think the only car that has better high beams than this car is the, uh, what else is it? the X-Trail. Yeah. The only car that has better high beams than this one is the X-Trail because the X-Trail high beams, I'm going to show you them at night time one day. This is the engine right here. We've got big boy engine for this car. Yeah. Start off with the fans here, double fan. We've got the horn as well. This is the engine. 6.2 litre V8 engine, not supercharged, not turbocharged, none of that. Just a big ass engine. 
6.2 litre as you can see there. Got the alternator, the battery. This is, of all the cars in the garage, this is the biggest engine. Because it's the biggest car. Oh shit, obviously. I nicknamed this car the big boy, the big show. This is the big show. Well, it's the big show. Yeah, the bonnet on this car is super heavy, so uh, sometimes struggle to get it down and up. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Ford F-150 Raptor. So guys, that was the Ford F-150 Raptor done. Yeah. So that is another car that I've already done a video of. Uh, let me know if you want to see any of these other cars in the background behind me here. Uh, let me know if you want to see the, the Mini, the Subaru, the Challenger, any of them. Just let me know and uh, yeah, I'll do it for you. But anyway guys, please like, subscribe. Like I always say, show your mom, your dad, your uncle, your auntie, your daddy, your babaji, your whole dunia. Show them, yeah. Tell them to like and subscribe as well. And let me know what you want to see next. Like I said, uh, tell me your imaginary car modification dream, whatever. What, 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 what modification you do to any car? Comment that down below. Let me know what I should add on the back. What, what, what modification you'd add on the back of this, uh, this F-150 Raptor. So, if it's like, uh, it could be anything, yeah. Just let me know. Yeah, let, let me know. Write in the comments down below and uh, tell me. Tell me in it. Please like, subscribe, do all that. See you next video. Safe.